please welcome the Executive Director of the Fulbright Association and Fulbright alumnus to India, Dr. John Bader. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am delighted to welcome and join you for this moment of celebration and commemoration in the global effort to combat the pandemic and to restore the life we want and deserve. I want to ver offer a very special thanks for the generosity of the ADP Foundation, to the Pennsylvania State University for the reception we just enjoyed, and to our friends at Pfizer for sponsoring the live stream. Thank you all so much. Let me begin my brief remarks by illustrating how public health, uh, coupled with the generosity of donors, sponsors, and members, have allowed the Fulbright Association to thrive once again. Thanks to vaccines and your support, students across America have been inspired to explore the world. Through our Fulbright in the Classroom program, Fulbrighters are making the world more inviting to explore and its diverse peoples more understandable by sharing their experiences with students, including those in small towns, at community colleges, and HBCUs. Our volunteers are inspiring a more diverse generation to be global citizens and future Fulbrighters. Just as our prize laureates have promoted international understanding, so too have our classroom volunteers in rural Montana and urban Atlanta in Iowa middle schools and Florida colleges. Thanks to vaccines and your support, our chapter leaders and members can advance the same educational and public service mission. The Dallas chapter hosted an immersive food experience to better understand and to get to know refugees resettled in their area. Utah members welcome visiting Fulbright scholars and students from around the world. Central New York partnered with a local theater to stage readings by Ukrainian writers as a fundraiser for Ukrainians suffering from Russian aggression. And in Louisiana, Fulbrighters volunteered to provide holiday baskets to immigrant families and to assist those affected by hurricanes. Thanks to vaccines and your support, last year we gathered for the first in-person conference since the pandemic began a much-deserved and overdue reunion. And tomorrow, we go to Capitol Hill to share our stories with members of Congress and to request a greater investment in the Fulbright program, which has changed lives and promoted peace for over 75 years. Allow me to conclude on a personal note addressed directly to our laureates. Dr. Fauci and Dr. Corbett, I want to thank you for keeping my family safe and healthy. Your work has allowed my children to go to college and graduate school, to be with their friends, to enjoy adventure and travel, and to be happy. I will be forever grateful to you, my friend. To all of you, please enjoy this Fulbright Prize celebration, and thank you very much.